Hi, I'm Agnieszka Świta of Camera. You are watching Live Prog. Hello there, welcome to Live Prog. I am your host, Marcel Huster. How would you feel if I would say we're going to talk about a musical in this review? Well, it might be a bit surprised because you thought, you know, I am watching prog videos, am I? Um, yes, you are. But the musical I have in this video review is very much prog related. And a lot of musicals are, because look at The Wall by Pink Floyd, Tommy by The Who, but also things that Arian does or Aphantasia. Big metal or rock productions, but they are very closely related to musicals. But if we, if we bring it closer and, and go in a smaller setting, um, a couple of years back Clive Nolan worked together with Oliver Wakeman. They released two albums, The Jabberwocky and The Hound of the Baskervilles. And if you listen to those albums, they are considered prog albums, but they are very closely related to musical. Again, it should be not a surprise because I mentioned Clive Nolan. And a couple of years back, Clive Nolan brought his very first musical to the prog world or to the stage, She, which was still very much a prog rock related release. And now he takes it up a notch and he moves a little bit further away from the prog into the real musical world. Nevertheless, still very, very interesting for prog fans. This one, Alchemy. want to listen to alchemy well i would say you know clive nolan wrote the whole thing that sh basically should be enough i mean look at what clive done uh, and just look at the biggest bands he's in shadowland arena pendragon you know so we know what he does he does a lot he is an amazing writer he's an amazing composer for some reason he kind of really likes to do musicals and it's not a surprise. I mean, musicians want to make music, singers want to sing, and what label we stick on it is irrelevant to the musician. He just want to make good music. The whole musical prog thing isn't that far away from each other. I mentioned a couple of examples. I have one really fantastic example, Damien Wilson. I mean, he's one of the greatest prog singers we know, and he starred as lead character in the musical Les Miserables in the London West End for a couple of years. You know, so he did musical. I'm gonna give it away a little bit. He is on Alchemy as well. This is a big production. It's uh, two CDs, two hours of music, um, two acts. And I gotta tell you, there's, there's so much to tell about this album that I'm, I'm gonna skip a few things because, well, simply there is not enough time to go into detail on everything. What you need to know to understand the story is, uh, it is about the secret of Alchemy. Two men are basically in a race to find items that bring them that secret. And of course, one is good, one is bad. And along the way, they encounter different people who either help them or fight them in their quest. Before we move on to the cast, I, I wanna say a couple of things about the music, but, but I have, a, I'm honest, you know, I have a really hard time explaining how incredibly beautiful the music is you find on Alchemy. It is such a beautiful soundtrack to the whole story. Uh, I think this is the best piece of music Clive has ever composed. It has so much to offer. It's, it's very orchestrated. It doesn't have as much rock elements in it. Uh, nevertheless, I mean, if you look at the musicians that, that perform this music, you have, of course, Clive Nolan doing keyboards and orchestrations, but you have Scott Hyam on drums, Mark Westwood on guitars, Colin Amos on bass, and Claudio Mombard doing piano. Now, these musicians are the same ones that provided the music with a theatrical production of She in Cheltenham at the Playhouse Theatre. They are the core musicians. There are two additional musicians, Ian Stott and Penny G, uh, horn and violin. Those seven musicians provide the musical background to the story. And I can only say you really need to listen to it. I can't describe it, you know, I shouldn't describe it. This is something you need to listen to because it is simply beautiful and, and I'm sorry, but that's the only thing I can say about it. If I could taste one kiss, there's a sadness in those dark and haunting eyes, so much more than I I'm 
gonna move on to the cast. I can say a lot more about that. Um, I'm gonna open up the booklet. That's, by the way, the only um, bit of a, a, a minor criticism I have because you have the, the CD. It's a very luxurious digi pack, as you can see, but the booklet is glued into the cover, so you can't take out the booklet and, and you know read along. That's that's. Well, it's a minor detail, of course, but nevertheless, you know, if I want to look up everything, um, show you. There you have it. That's the cast. Now, Clive Nolan plays the main character. No surprise, Agnieszka Srita. The leading lady from She is also the leading lady in Alchemy. And again, I think um, I, I was very much impressed by her performance in She, but I think she does even better with this one. And the nice thing, and, and which I didn't mention, is because it, this is a real musical, uh, you also have bits and pieces of narration in between the songs. Not someone telling a story but the characters talking to each other and that is something you didn't really have in she that was really just singing here we also have some some dialogue in the music as well and then you know that really gives you the feeling you are listening to a story one musician i am very much impressed with on this album is david clifford he used to be the drummer of red jasper he is the singer of red jasper these days and they really should get cracking on that album because then a lot of more people can hear him sing, but he also sang uh, Clive's part in the She Theatre production. So a lot of people who went there have seen and heard him perform there and sing. He's an amazing singer and one of the tracks that really stand out for me in Act 1 is Amelia. The moment where char David's character uh, expresses his love for Agnieszka's character. That is such a beautiful song, you know, that, that, oh. That really gives me goosebumps. Wow, beautiful. Then we have another singer uh, that also has a bit of a story, Victoria Bolly. She was the understudy for Agnieszka Suita in the theater version of She. And she impressed everybody with her performance, but especially Clive, because when he started working on Alchemy, he wanted her in. And she's in, she's one of the main characters and I gotta say, she has a fantastic voice. It's really beautiful how she sings, you know, you really pay attention to the songs where she does. There's a couple of songs that she sings solo. Wow, really impressive. A chance like this is a gift from God. Never scrimp, never save, never take that job. You'll have power, you'll have strength. You can pander to yourself with a never ending tide of wealth. There's no end to the quantity of coins in your bank. Powder, you guarantee yourselves a never-ending time. The last main character is the bad guy, the villain, Lord Henry Jackman. And I gotta say, he opens the story. He's the first one you hear when you put on this CD. And I gotta say, he does such an amazing job here. Clive couldn't have picked a better vocalist for that part. Um, and it seems to me like he was really born to do musicals, so I hope he does it a little bit more. Mr. Andy Sears, you know him from Twelfth Night. Already in Twelfth Night, you know, he's really very passionate, very expressive, very theatrical. Well, that all comes together quite nicely in his role as the evil Lord Henry Jackman. And you really, you know, you really start to dislike him when you listen to the story, so he does a good job. Then we have a couple of other characters in the story that have smaller parts, you know, just here and there. But we find a few very interesting names again. The first one, when you follow the order here in the booklet, is Noel Calcaterra, the story behind her. Clive did an album in South America a couple of years back called Otra Vida. And Noel Calcaterra was the singer on that album. Um, and well, apparently they liked working together, so Clive invited her to do a part on Alchemy as well. And she does a part, and I gotta say, she has a really beautiful voice, and I really suggest you know check out that Otra Vida album because it is very nice. As I said, she's a very good singer. A familiar name we come across then, Mr. Paul Manzi, the new voice of Arena. He's the one that when you listen to it, you pick him out immediately. You know, when you listen, you say, ah, that's Paul Manzi. But I love him. You know, he plays a good part. He plays the, 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 a bit of a bandit in this one. Um, but again, his voice is very suitable 
not just for prog rock, but also for musical, because I love his part in Alchemy. Really stunning. A man that also does a part, but you don't really hear that it's him, is Paul Manel. Um, and that brings me to, to something that's very important, what Clive did with a number of these singers in this musical. He made them sing different than what they normally do. So that's why you don't always recognize which singer sings what. The same goes for Tracy Hitchings. You know, she only, she and, and Paul Manel only pick out, uh, you know, a small part in the musical, but they do a great job. They, they sing together in, in one song. But again, you know, you really have to look in the booklet, who are these people singing, you know? But nevertheless, I love it the way they do it. I mean, especially Tracy Hitchings, she is an amazing singer. And it's, I, I wish she had a bigger part in this one. Damien Wilson, he is the real treat and the real big surprise. He has one song playing the captain, uh, conducting the funeral, that unfortunately the tragic death of um, Agnieszka Suita's character. But when you hear him sing, you know, it's. You have never heard him sing in that way before. Really fantastic. And it shows again what an incredible singer Mr. Damien Wilson really is, you know, what he can do with his voice. The last singer you meet at the end of Alchemy, playing the character of the alchemist, Thomas Anzare, you know, his secrets they are chasing after, Chris Lewis. Fantastic performance. Now, Chris Lewis also appeared in the theatrical production of She, because he was also one of the understudies there, in this case for Alan Reed. I gotta be honest, you know, when I listened to She, I was used to Alan singing the part. Chris has a much different voice, so, you know, I, I had some trouble really seeing him as Alan Reed's character, but here in Alchemy, you know, this is his character and he does it so well. It's such a powerful performance there, you know, really stunning and I'm really happy that he is a part of this cast as well. There are a number of singers that I really hope we will see and hear a lot more of because they are very talented and I especially refer to Victoria Bolly and Chris Lewis because they're relatively unknown names. You know, they, they kind of got their spotlight with She because that's when they got some attention. They were linked to Clive. Now they got some more attention. I, they deserve a lot more because the most of the characters are well known, but these two are relatively unknown and they are such talented singers. Keep an eye on them, definitely. Now, I've probably been talking about way too long already, but well, sorry, there is just so much to say about this album, you know? It's such a stunning work of music. What label you put on it, prog or musical, it doesn't matter. This is beautiful music and I think everybody should listen to it. And you know, just put that preconception about prog away, just listen to music. That's what counts. There will be more alchemy, uh, the, the whole cast performed the show in Poland where they recorded a DVD which is slightly different than the cast you find on the CD, so it will be interesting to compare them. And of course, September 2013, they will do again the theatrical version of this one at the Playhouse Theater in Cheltenham. So if you have a chance, you know, I've been to the She production and I loved it. It was really fantastic and such a great atmosphere to be in this beautiful theater in Cheltenham. So if you have the chance, go there. You will not regret it. Definitely not. But if you're not in the possibility to go, you can buy this one, the album, or you can buy the DVD, um, whatever you like. But I recommend to buy this album because it's simply a very beautiful work of music. Thank you very much, Clive Nolan, for bringing such beautiful music and, and gathering such amazing singers. I look forward to your next musical. Be your resting place, judgment now for you. Can't